Uh, speaking of the return of Hong Kong, we're celebrating 20 years this year. And it takes me back 20 years thinking about what was involved there. I was very involved accidentally. Uh, Yo-Yo Ma called me uh, about a year and a half before that period, 97, but 95, late 95. He said, Shirley, he said, I, uh, you know, there's this thing about uh, the return of Hong Kong. At the time, there was very little news about it. And I have been invited by an English orchestra to play. Can you tell me what is this about? Is this important? Oh, I said, Yo-Yo, this is a very important historic moment. It's great that, you know, you can be part of it. But I said, but you know, you're Chinese and the English are leaving and the Chinese are coming. Don't you think you should be with the people who are coming? <laughs> and he said, well, I agree, but nobody invited me. Well, and I said, and plus, he, he was invited to play a, a traditional piece, I think, Elgar. I said, this is such a special event. It shouldn't be something you can hear in a concert hall anytime. We should have something special. He said, yes, I've been thinking we should use the bells, the bian zong, because he was interested in that. We had been talking about the bian zong with the museum, the Smithsonian Museum. He said, I'd like to use the bian zong and have a children's chorus and uh, make a big music event. Oh, I said, what a great idea. This is original Chinese instrument. It could be unique music. So I went to Hong Kong. I met with C.H. Dong, who's old family friend. He introduced me to the two people who were in charge of the um, return of Hong Kong celebration, Rita Fan and Dr. Wu. And they said, we just started. So I gave them pictures of the Bian Zong and the Yo-Yo, etc. And they said, good, give me a proposal. And then uh, we had to... Uh, uh, we had to find music, because there is no music for the Bian Zong. So I asked around my friends, and somebody told me that Tan Dun, who I knew slightly, had been playing with the copies and when they were, came out of the earth. So I called him up, and so he, being Chinese, knew immediately. Oh, he said, if I can do this, I will drop everything I'm doing and concentrate on this. So then he met Yo-Yo, they liked each other, and they developed the music plan for that. Uh, they then called me with this bright idea, lots of bright ideas, and they always want me to do it. Do you think we could use the real Bian Zong for the recording? I said, oh my goodness, how is that possible? This is an archaeological treasure in the museum. Anyway, I found out from my friends that actually there is no rule about playing. There's a lot of rules about moving, showing, but no rule about playing. So if he could go to Wuhan, to the museum, then he could use them. So that's what he did. He went to the museum, they put the glass out of the, the, the case, and he used that to record. And then, uh, so then we, we, then we had the big problem to get the Bian Zong to Hong Kong. It weighs two tons, and it takes a day and a half to put it together to be able to play. And it weighs two tons, so a lot of places cannot take it because it ruins the, you know, the floor, <laughs> will not support it. So we, 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 I went all over China, I found the copies that are fairly good, etc. Et we sent one to Hong Kong, but then it was going to go into the convention center. So we had to find other copies to rehearse. And then the final thing was, of course, everything went well. We had the children's chorus, etc. The one day they called me and they said, Shirley, you know, it's the return of Hong Kong to the motherland. Shouldn't we do a concert in China after this? like on the 2nd of July. This is a good idea, but how are we going to do it? <laughs> so we see what you can do. So anyway, I went and used all my friends in Beijing and the Ministry of Culture, etc. And they said, okay, you know, we will do a concert at the Great Hall of the People. I had to have another Bian Zong I had to find. <laughs> and then, so we actually went after Xiang Gang Hui on the 1st. Uh, on the 2nd, we took the plane in the morning and we all went to Beijing to do the concert at the Great Hall of the People. <laughs>